so it took a few, but we got everything figured out here on this cool gun that came with that 285. This knob on the top right here, you can see the drive rollers down in here. Get your wire started with the cap off. Get your wire started before you set the spool down in there. If you just squeeze together real hard here, push down on that, that releases the drive rollers. And it took a couple stabs to bend the wire. There's no way to get in there offhand, but third, third time I had the wire bent straight enough and down just a little bit to where it slipped into the other side of the, you know, the uh, guide there. So there's a piece of red plastic in there for a guide. This wasn't on when you open the case, but it's not a big deal. Just start your wire. It might take you a few stabs to get it through there, but once you get it started, you can uh, adjust your wire feed speed on the bottom of the spool gun. So I had a couple issues that I didn't understand at first. Um, I went ahead and hooked the, uh, hooked the spool gun up to the gas on the front of the machine. And this particular spool gun runs off your stick lead. Hook that up, it's reverse polarity for spray transfer, so I got I'm hooked into the positive side. Hooked my straight argon into the back on the spool gun side. And then on the front of the panel, you gotta go into MIG mag, and right away when you connect this in there and connect your uh, pigtail in there, it registers you got a spool gun hooked up. But I still it still didn't work right. Because as soon as I opened the gas bottle without pulling the trigger, it would uh, the gas would run. So you got to get into MIG mag, and you can see it says AL at the top for aluminum. If you go all the way to the top of MIG mag, it'll say FE. Go ahead and punch on FE, and then it'll give you aluminum and a couple other options. Go ahead and alum hit aluminum. Once I hit aluminum in MIG mag then the gas only comes on when you pull the trigger on the spool gun like it's supposed to. Because without going into that aluminum setting, without pulling the trigger, the gas was always running. So it took me a few to figure that out. But go into your settings, right away it'll tell you you got a spool gun. Go scroll all the way to the top and it'll say FE. Hit FE and it'll give you a few other options and aluminum's one of them. Go ahead and highlight or hit on aluminum. And that sets you up the rest of the way in there. I'm actually running on 110. I got 30 amps of 110. And this is where I ended up at. It's running pretty good where it is. 517 inches of 030 and 21 volts. I didn't have much aluminum to dial it in on. It took, it took a couple shots of playing with it, but this is where I ended up. So, ain't nothing wrong with that welded and laid it in there really nice as a matter of fact so I was wondering if uh, on 110 volts I'd be able to get it hot enough to spray transfer but it actually laid it in there really nice after I got it dialed in so uh, just giving everybody some input on there it's a little finicky to get that wire in there but uh, outside of that it all seemed to go real good I'm really surprised that it uh, like I said spray transferred on 110 volts but but he's having any issues, this might help you out a little bit. Like I said, on the machine, you definitely got to go into Big Mag, hit FE, select aluminum option. Otherwise, your gas runs all the time whether you pull the trigger on the spool gun or not. So, everybody be safe.